Welcome back, everybody. Map 2, Inferno. King went in the lead 1-0 as they dominated, as expected, on their map pick of Cash. So all eyes on Melty right now, as they will have to start off on the terrorist side here. So the harder of the sides, we are into the pistol round. That is, take us through the pistol. Yeah, and it is a, a map where I'm expecting to see a lot more from Melty after that poor performance on the first map. But you can see already, they are pushing through very aggressively. Lambert lands the frag. No one checks behind the car. And Rain just destroys with the USP. No huge surprises there. This guy is ridiculous with this weapon. And just like that, Melty go from a position where you're expecting them to force through on to B. But that last line of defense is more than good enough. And he's not done just oh. yet tapping to four kills, it's all on Maid, and he's pulled off clutches before, but there's Dennis with one as well, so I think all the frags on the CTs, there were headshots from the USP. Uh, I'd like to direct everyone to my change.org petition to nerf the USP. <laughs> That's insane. And Rain, not only is he an insane player with the USP, he's just an insane player. I absolutely loved watching him play on LGB, that was his past roster, and it's actually very sad when he was taken away from it. And it took him a while to get situated on Kingwin, but now Kingwin obviously coming together uh, as a lineup and uh, doing great things. Good results uh, on lands, qualifying for the major. So big up and coming roster here for Kingwin. And perhaps for Melty. Let's see, they're gonna put through the smoke with that flash. They will grab one first, but Dennis to bring down two, and then Mr. and Terminator on the board. So man advantage here to the terrorists. But look at this flank, it's coming in super fast. And Paul, this is going to move right on through Scream. Is he just dinked up by his own teammate, or was that missed too? Hard to tell. It'll be Fox in a one-on-one, -on -one and he'll win it with the MP7. Too close to comfort, though, from Kingpin, but that was a committed round from Melty with Tech Nines and armor, by and large. I can understand why they went for that play. They didn't get a bomb plant in the first round, so there's no point waiting for the AKs in round three. But that will now put them into a couple P250s and not much else. So let's see how they aggress on this one. Sometimes you'll see teams just, like, completely barrel in. Onto the sites. There's not much point in playing slow unless you want to go for like a slow push onto the site, but they have no smokes or flashbangs to work with. So, I mean, Kingwin, they, they should just have this all day, every day. And there's the double grenades coming down mid. That's back from Akalele and Rain. And just ruthless aggression from the side of the CTs. He's going to put them in a 4v1 scenario. Maiden again in the clutch scenario does get the frag and the M4. So, this is maybe not over just yet. They can perhaps do some more damage here to the CTs. Aim punch, though, is going to be a problem as you see his aim just go crazy there. And McAlealy will bring him down with the Tech 9. So three people to survive for Kingwin. That's kind of the, the bare minimum that you want. And even that is somewhat costly. McAlealy will drop a gun because even Dennis couldn't buy in full. But now he can. So there's a kit on Fox and Dennis. That's probably just the one per site. That's all they're really going to need there. Yeah, Dennis over at A, Fox towards B. He'll be playing B with Scream. Makalele at mid, not really a surprise, but not on the op just yet. CTs can't quite bankroll the, the op expense. Yeah, the way they've been playing, though, so far with crossfires, well, may not be something they even need just yet. There's now LT. This is the first proper test. Well, I guess you could say round two was with those Tech 9 push, and we saw that it very nearly failed that test, but now with the AKs, it's a whole new ball game for King Wynn. How are they going to hold on to this? Fox goes for the cheeky peek with the Molotov down. Very nearly gets punished. He's down to one HP and somehow just about scurries away with his life intact. So close to being put six foot under there. Scream with the headshot. No huge surprises there. And that fends off this B push just for a few more moments, but they must know that Fox is low and vulnerable. And therefore maybe Melty are going to Sense the blood in the water and try and push three. Well, the rest of the team actually going through arches. They're looking to get on B from CT side, potentially. That's a beautiful oh, flashback flashes. from Dennis, man. That is just destructive to Xtaz. So we can see a single thing there. Oh, Terminator opens a B. And yeah, it's, it's funny to note. Scream gets his kill through the smoke. And then a pop flash kills the other guy. Termi er, no, well, Terminator's team here. Hadn't seen anything for the first couple kills. Terminator did open up B, but already his, his team had fallen behind him, so there was no one to really storm in with, and he didn't have the bomb, so he's just isolated up here at car. He could do some more damage. He's trying to peek through the cracks in that windshield, but Makalele takes him down first. Four people to survive for Kingwin, and they're really starting to build up their money over these last two rounds.
And that round really is just like a highlight of why grenades are so important in, in on CT or T side in Counter Strike. Because as you said, a flashbang wrecks one player, smoke wrecks another player. The Molotov kept them at bay. They're such key integral parts of your defense or your attacking sides. And now Melty, you know, speaking of utility, have nothing for themselves. And we saw before they weren't able to do too much from this scenario. I'm not expecting to see much different this oh, time rain. around. Rain. With the first frag onto T steps, you know, there's the second player down in tunnels there. And then it's with the ruthless aggression that very nearly backfired horribly, nearly got picked off before he could get a single frag. The King went with that Molotov, just locks down Lambert, there's nothing he can do. Down to two players, made it's being aggressed on from behind, and now it's all on the Terminator. And he has been picked off. Good round for King win 5 0. Any round that you get a Molotov kill is a good round. Win or lose, that's my motto. Well, I'm still silver four. <laughs> if that's even a rank, I don't know. Does it go to silver four, or is that silver yeah. elite master, or whatever? Uh, I think it's silver four, then then silver elite master. Is okay. it? I don't know. I've honestly never been silver, so same. I, I can't speak with a hundred percent sure there. Uh, certainty, sorry. I've never been silver because I still am. Cool. <laughs> that All Molotov, right. though. Speaking yeah, of what a Molotov from the Terminator. Uh, to be fair, it is kind of hard to th thread the needle into that window, and to be honest, if Inferno ever gets patched, I would love to see those... Uh, I'd love to see window room changed completely, because I think it's completely and awful the way it is. Also, what the hell is that Molotov made out of, that it bounced off the window and went just skyward? Is it made of rubber or something? Yeah, it's a bit odd. Uh, obviously, incendiaries and Molotovs will bounce once! Oh, there is that. Well, they'll bounce once on horizontal surfaces anyways. Or vertical, sorry. Anyways, Rain up here on the porch, always a good spot to be. Let's see what he can do. There's no gutters on that porch. I thought Rain might be able to do a lot of damage. But no, he's forced to jump off immediately. Hey, Green stream. in the connector though, and there he is. Not quite a one tap, but eh, close enough for Green. We'll he's gonna peek out once more, he will be brought down. Lambert hit the op shot on the arch side as well. And a whole lot of dead bodies over there. It'll be X-Test who survived that. He is the veteran of the arch side warfare on round six. And he's going to bring it back around to his teammate Mistu over here in the banana. And Fox is... Is there a smoke? No, there's not. They do have a flash. And that will be very effective. And now actually the smoke is coming in. It was already thrown by the time I looked. Still, Fox almost finds a kill. Gets Mistu down to 5 HP on that cross. But the bomb is going down. And this is Melty's... Oh my gosh, Fox. Wow. Box, that's just knowing the angles, right? Like, he knows the timing when they're going to cross. He knows where people are going to be planting the bomb. And they were even lined up there. He almost killed them both through the smoke. Now it's just x in trap. One edge shot will not be enough. Rain to finish it out. Yeah, and the, the worst part there from Melty's perspective, like, if they lost the bomb planter, who was uh, very, very low, like 8 HP, then no issues. But it was the other guy that was on 100% that got wrecked through the wall. And uh, from there in again, King, King Win just hold on. Uh, that's that's six zero, and I say you know Melty, this is the map I'd expect them to do a bit better on, but so far they've just been shut down. Not not even from their poor play, they just King wouldn't have been that damn good on their CT side. Yeah, they have. Uh, I think it, Melty, they really needed to get set, you know, find a round early, and the easiest way to do that on the C side is the pistol round, because honestly, you're kind of favored on Inferno as a terrorist on pistol. But Rain stepped up there, found the four K and crush the hopes of Melty. Even the second round was pretty close. There was only one surviving CT member, but that was it. Those were the only two close rounds we really had. Everything else, uh, I guess round six is one of the songs close, but almost everything else is just complete domination. And here, like, Dennis, he, he wants to kill people so bad he's killed himself. And Rain with another 4K. That's such a sad state of affairs, though, for Melty as well. Quickly, 7-0. These rounds have been very, very fast. It's like kind of in the blink of an eye. First map seemed to last forever, but that's because of the delays in, in hindsight. It was, like, if we go into raw playtime, that was a pretty fast map, 16-8. to 8. A lot of the rounds, again, were explosive and quick. But this is just, I mean, already getting towards the danger zone for Melty. They can still resurrect this, this map, though. 7-0 looks bad, but remember, they're on T-side. If they can get five, six rounds on this half, they've got every chance of pulling it off. And I would say that maybe Team Win are being a bit too aggressive at parts through mid. They are getting the better of these trades, though. So if it ain't broke, I fix it, I suppose. Lambert's through onto the pit, however. And this is giving his team a lot of information.
And they look to be pushing that bomb towards here as well. But he needs to get this opening pick onto Fox. He's going to go for the flash, then peek. There's two players out there. Dennis is in no man's land, but Lambert then peek again because he knows this is not there. So now he's just trapped behind the truck. Who is, who is playing on the CT side here? Is it the Terrace or the CTs? Because the Terrace are here defending the A site. And CT is already going in for the retake. Even though the bomb's not down, the bomb actually might be stuck on the truck. Terminator, though, coming in, trying to spam through that box. is slightly off with this man. We'll pull out the Glock to finish down Fox and his Makalele in a very winnable 1v2, actually. Both of them extremely low. Lampert, though, in a good spot up in... Oh, they don't have the bomb. And I... Oh, no, they did pick it up. Okay, excuse me. So they do have the bomb, but Lampert will have to move out of his good spot here, as I called it, the graveyard, and now it's down. And the head has been spotted. Makalele removes it. Two kills for him. And there you have it. 8-0. Yeah, I felt a bit sorry for Lambert there. He, he desperately wanted to get that bomb across to the site to plant, but he didn't know 100% where the CT would be coming from. And, well, that proved to be his downfall. 8-0. Again, though, that's that's a pretty close round. And that, that could have gone either way. It's what, the second or third time that that's been the case. So, on another day, Melty would be sort of maybe 6-2, 5-3 behind here on Inferno T side. But as it stands, at 8-0 behind, they're on another... Eco slash force by with tech nines and Kevlar. Yeah, still trying to be very forceful. Already brought down early on. And this time a more passive setup from King. We saw a lot of aggression. You kind of called him out on it in that last round. Um, and yeah, CT aggression on this map can be rough because if you aggress and then leave yourself in a 4 on 4 or a 3 on situation, it's actually better for the terrorists. So you do have to be very, very careful. Uh, they did leave themselves in a 4-on-3 in that last round, but here we go. That force-up from Melty has got them into that site. Some grenades and spam coming through, almost stopping that plant. X has, though, to peek into construction, bring down Makalele right into a 3-on-3 three three now. B is that harder site to retake. Lambert, though, hmm, going crazy. Did he, just, he push, push through that smoke, did he not? I believe so, yeah. That's a bit insane. Trying to make that play when maybe he didn't need to, and that'll allow Kingwin to make that retake. Hmm. I'll be making some questionable decisions. Maybe out of desperation, though. Yeah. Because it does happen, you know, sometimes teams will panic when they're just getting comprehensively outplayed, which I think it's safe to say multi are being right now. Again, how are the delays impacting them? I feel like delay snowball games slightly more. If you are if you come out of a delay and you start winning, it's like, no problems, guys, we've got this. If you come out of a huge delay and you start losing... There's almost an air of, of beating yourself up and just being like, oh, screw this game, I'm done. So I'm, I'm not sure how much Melty is still into this. Of course they can be playing to the bitter end, but maybe they are starting to become their own worst enemy a tiny bit. Because some of these decisions I, I do think have cost them pretty big. Yeah, I mean, granted, the re that holding that would have been tough because they had one rifle and two pistols, but they had a P215 to Tech 9, so you play in a close corner, that's still going to be a one shot. And you do have a rifle as well. I don't know, I think they're going to held on a bit more. Sniper tries to make a play. We'll leave it at that. Round That's 10. aggression, man. Kingwin stacking three players and apps, because why yeah. not? <laughs> I love it. They're very much hoping to catch a player off guard. I mean, there usually is one player just going towards apps as a terrorist every round, so why not catch him off guard every time? Um, Maculator can find the open range. Still very, very blind. He does find his eyesight real quick. Finds a headshot onto Maiden, and as the rest of his teammates, Mac Lely. Actually, Rain did get two there. I didn't even notice. Makalele finds two as well. He's up to 10 kills. 10 kills for Dennis. Highest in the server is Rain at 17. He's got two 4Ks already. One of them was in the pistol round. Impressive uh, was that USP work. And here we are in round 11. 10-0. Melty. Still, right? Looks like a miserable half. They happen to just win four rounds here at the end. It's salvageable. Definitely, yeah. I 100% agree with you. I saw I said before, it looks bad, but if they can get four or five rounds, I mean, they've got a chance still if they win that pistol. But I've got to say, the way these rounds have been going, the decisions that Melty have been making, I can't necessarily see that happening here. I'd love to. The optimist in me wants to see Melty take this to 10-5, but the realist is saying, I mean, I mean, Kingwin even could 15-0 this, honestly. I mean, Caster Curse probably knew coming in now, but still. The way Kingwin have been playing, I would not write them off. All right, so Fox has pushed aggressive down. Banana, he'll be that lone B player. You've got players rotating back over. That's Dennis and Scream, kind of just in CT spawn, now pushing over towards Arch. And it's actually a very passive A setup. They're not looking for any information today because they're getting the information they need from Fox pushed up over at B. And with that smoke going down, Fox, again, 
Dropping this book at 45 seconds is going to push those terrorists more and more likely towards A. We're now four players for Penguin R. Scream once again, looking through the smoke, finds another kill. He just knows where to shoot. And another one. <laughs> Oh, I wish I was looking at the chat. They've got to be absolutely loving that one. Green peeking out this time. When he can see people, he can't actually kill them. Dennis finds a second frag for himself, and it is just maybe now alone over on port side. Macaulay to bring him down and 11 0 for Kingwin. Just raw game sense and talent there, honestly. It comes out, out of the back of playing hundreds and hundreds of hours of this map and knowing the precise parts to spray down. Of course, there's an element of luck in it as well, but the screen on point. And so are King Gwynn. Melty, with another force, he's got so much round loss coming in, they can understand this, and they just desperately want a couple rounds, see if they can break King Gwynn down. But it's going to be a Galil, an AK, Tech 9, so there's lots of grenades to play with. Uh, again, look at this, now three players stacking Banana, just triple nading it. And it was the incorrect decision this time around, but it doesn't matter because Rain is there with the M4, Makalele as well, Rain pushing through apps, he gets punished and put down. But Xtaz now, the final player, only has 22 HP to his name. And they're going to know roughly where he is. So it wouldn't surprise me if the CTs just encircle him. And this is going to take us to 12. So there we go. Makalele puts him down with ease. see him? Was he looking like the opposite side of the hay bales there? I didn't quite catch it. Oh, wait. Was I th was Makalele an alternate or was he at the bottom of mid? I thought he was one of the alternate players that shot through the smoke. Then why did he uh, crack in it? Yeah. He was in mid, I think. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. I thought the player from alternate behind the smoke got him. It's like, there's been a lot of kills through smoke here. Yeah. Are these guys 16 bidding? Vac, hello? People even get that reference. Did you play 1.6? I did briefly, back, but a long time ago. Back when you can ago. lower your uh, video bit depth, and you can see through smokes just like 100%. It was oh, really? That seems pretty ridiculous. Yeah, it was ridiculous. I think Sivo were actually one of the first people to like force 32 bit and like how to check for it or something like that. Good guy, Sivo. Yeah. But yeah, it was really rough. That was the call out back then. Like, oh nice, you can see through smokes. But here we go. Rifle round, four on four. They've got to kill out there by the sandbags. Now trying to push it through the smoke. They walk right into Magdalene spray down. He brings down two. Now Dennis will find another from New Box. Looking for one more. His X Nash has got his way into trash there. Flash to go out. That's actually gonna flash everybody. <laughs> nice job, Dennis. He flashes all people. It doesn't matter what team you're on, doesn't matter what color you are, he will flash you. He's in a very PC flusher. way. Yeah. That, that wrecked all three players, but Rain still got the kill regardless. And 20 and 6 now, by the way. Ridiculous. 13 0. How do you analyze this game? At this point, this your half can't be good if you're melty. Yeah. But how do you analyze this, Joey? Like, they've just been outplayed across the board. There's not one particular thing that I can highlight as being a weakness. It's just. Almost well, everything, honestly. I feel like Melty are a really good team because they have ridiculous aimers and their ability to find entry frags is quite high. But Kingwin is better on all fronts as a team at those aspects than Melty. So I think Melty is just, they're just being outplayed, right? Like we haven't seen really any set strategies from them towards B or towards the A side. They're trying to hit the entries and they're failing because Kingwin is just better at that. That's my professional breakdown. I think it's a it's a good breakdown though because like the strength of Melty is also the strength of Kingwin. But and Kingwin so... Super Saiyan two and Melty's like mm -hmm. just about to go Super Saiyan for the first time. Yeah, so Kingwin is uh, quickly moving towards that fourteen zero and potentially fifteen zero shutout performance. Melty still have themselves two players alive and Fox is down to 29, so maybe there is a glimmer of hope here. They have the bomb and just the one smoke. 40 seconds to play with. They are pushing on to B. And there is Scream once more. Xtaz does trade him out. There's the smoke. Bomb will be following suit as well. If he goes for this, but he's checking every single corner of the B site before going for that plant. Look at this. Fox knows exactly where oh, he is. It gets the shot. And... And jumping, I think, yeah. Hello? Penguin? Smoke? Hello? No? Okay. Yeah, there there has been a considerable amount of uh, kills through smokes, but that I think that just goes to show, like, you're playing on Arch, it's very obvious, like, where these players are running, where they're peeking out, you you know where you are, you know the angles, you're able to spray them down, Fox, in that case, I believe did spot him was he, when he was scoped in, jumping over the top of that smoke, so he was able to line it up when he landed, found the kill there, and it's 14-0, and it looks like he might have had a pause for perhaps some malicious reasons. So that'll be a bit unfortunate. Uh, luckily though, we do have the pause feature and we already know that Kingwin have their standby on standby. See what I did there? Didn't even mean to. Uh, Legia was in initially. 
uh, for Scream. And it is Scream who has gone again. So if they need to bring him in, maybe the dream of the 16-0 dies with a stand-in. But I think they'd be uh, more than likely to still close this out 2-0. Oh, I, th- I think that's a certainty now, 2-0. I can't see Melty. Oh, just now? I can't. I just can't see Melty winning this from this point. I really can't. I don't really have I, much to say, honestly, Joey. Like this, this has just been so one-sided. I I can, and the score would have to be sixteen fourteen to Melty if they wanted to win. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Do you see that happening? No, I don't. Indeed. <laughs> or overtime, I guess. I didn't account for overtime. Maybe that's where I've gone wrong. That's still. That's why you're still before still, bro. Oh man, Maths. The player gonna drop just like this? It seems a bit pointless, honestly. It does. From like a DDoSing perspective, yeah. Let's DDoS them at fourteen zero. Like that's gonna make any difference. Maybe they didn't figure it out. They didn't figure out the IP until now, which does seem kind of foolish to use it now. I don't understand. Also, we haven't even validated if that's the actual reason. <laughs> that's true. It could just be an issue with his PC. Scream could have just like <laughs> got really excited and you know punched his monitor or something. <laughs> is that, I've is that what you do when you're excited? I've got very excited. I've punched a monitor. I'm having a great day. Bang! Get right. <laughs> I wake up. I'm just like whoa! Punch all three of my monitors, and look at that. The standby who was on standby is now in the match. It's Legia coming in here for Scream with. The whopping eight hundred dollars, but don't worry, Fox has fifteen k. So he'll be able to. Uh... Although you can't drop nades or armor. Oh, that's actually kind of mm-hmm. rough. Or a defuse kit. So... Yeah. Well, that doesn't matter. But yeah, so he can actually still buy Kevlar. That's what six fifty, and it'll be no nades. All right. But the sixteen zero dream. Yeah, I know. I'm a little upset. The, I, we, I should, we should like cover our bases. It's the dream for the spectator, but this is probably a nightmare for Melty. <laughs> yes. Or if you're a Melty fan and bet on them, in which case, uh, well, that's, you that's knew the what danger you of betting. Doing. Yeah, you know what we're getting into. Although the When I'm King win video for a reason. The the weird thing is here, I thought the better performance would oh. be from Melty on Inferno, but it's actually Inferno has been a massive weakness for them. Well they have to start on T side. Like hitting True. entries on T side Inferno is impossible. It is as an entry fragger, this has gotta be your least favorite map ever. Yep. I'm an entry fragger and I hate this map. Ever. Confirmed. Confirmed. I'll ring up HLTV later and get them to <laughs> confirm it as well. Um, and that's why I was very concerned. Like, they picked it, but then they had to start on T-side against a team of aimers like Kingwin. Like, not only do you have to hit your entry, but you've got to hit your entry against Rain or Scream. Like, good luck. It's very true. You will need it. And Kingwin have been so fluid as well. Like, we've seen them stack three people in apps. We've seen them push right down mid. We've seen three push down banana. These guys are so hard to read. Like, predictable is not a word I'd use to describe it. Kingwin at all. And speaking of which, Rain decides to flash and then rush through the smoke down Banana and gets taken out. So that's well, going to leave well, Dennis. Well, maybe in the, the sense of will they kill me through a smoke? In that case, they are very predictable because as Dennis has just illustrated, they will kill you through the smoke. Mm hmm. How many like smoke shots have kill we seen 20. this game? That's like actually kill 20. Someone needs to watch the tapes and just count all of the kills through smoke. There has been an obscene amount. Yeah. That's true. Maybe that is also indicative of, of how slow Melty been playing their T sides, that they've been in smoke for that long, and there we go. Oh. Um, it's planted, but it's not going to matter. Defuse comfortably, and Kingwin have picked up the 15 0 half. So the dream is nearly complete. That it is. It's just going to come down to the pistol. And I said earlier, I, I feel that the pistol round is actually very much in favor to the terrorists on a map like Inferno. Especially if you, because the sites are very easy to hold with with five people. Unlike maps, like let's talk, let's say Cash for instance. As a terrorist, you storm onto the A site, but A's like not that easy to hold. CTs almost always will not even play A and then just go for the retake because they know that the rate of success is so high. On Inferno, that's not the case. The sites are going to be mm-hmm. a little easier to hold, as we saw Rain demonstrate in Banana. A couple one taps from our USP will change everything, but I think mid and apartments are can be exploited very easily on the T side. And then when you get into A, for instance, it's so easy to hold that I think the 16 is very much alive. Yeah, I agree with you. Let's see if they're going to go for the, the brute force through onto a site here to terminate that. 
He oh. spots a lot of terrorists running towards him. He is going to get the information and forces back into dark now. If he plays this correct, he could get himself a bunch of frags. No one has spotted this. It's just like he's watching traffic go past him. Finally Shot gets too. the one tap in the back. And this is a part. good start for Melty. Two frags for them. Rain's running in with the glove. Can he land some headshots? Switches to burst fire. Doesn't do too much to terminate. He pulls himself back. And just like that, King win up against it. Yeah, looking very good for Melty here. Legia in a battle over towards B. We actually see the bomb going this way since Legia's got into the site. Lampert, though, is still posted up with the USB. Leggy has picked up a P2K, and Fox will find a headshot. x Taz though, from further back to bring down Fox. They still got to get the bomb. Rain will get it. Trying to hop into the site, supporting or cover fire, rather, from Legia. He's going to get lit up and have to back off. They might all fall onto Rain once more. He is just in Garden, waiting for a player to come in, and he's going to get deleted. Maiden to take him down. Now, Legia is still fighting from back in the site with that P2K, and he will fall. Melty are on the board. Well, better late than ever, I guess. But uh, good luck getting 14 more rounds, Melty. And then winning the overtime. Can't really see it happening, but the dream has been crushed. Who knows, maybe we're going to witness CS history here. Maybe Melty can bounce back. I will begin to believe again until we get to double digits for them. If we get 15, 10, then I'll begin to believe. But right now, nah. Full tech nines, by the way, as well. Yeah, full tech nines, three rifles here for Melty, only an MP9 and a P90 on the submachine gun side of things. So you know that, well actually with all the Molotovs, it's got to be a B execute. With the smokes and Molotovs that have come out, just establish that banana control, they'll have to get Terminator off his car, and just go for the set play. And this could be very successful. And Molotovs and smokes already have been used here from the CTs, which will mean less to hold on to the site. Uh, who is over there? It's Terminator and Misty. and Mistu. So they're out of smokes. If one is going to be thrown, it'll have to be from the A site. They need no one's in position to do that, actually. So they are out of smokes. Look for this execute for Kingwin. They need that sweeper player to come up right now from Lambert. He was hiding ar around CT spawn. There we go. So three players going to be in from the CTs. Here comes the set play as well from King Gwyn. Here oh, comes the push busted. with the tech nine. That smoke does stop the cross, but Terminator doesn't care. Just holds his finger down on the trigger. Two frags through the smoke for him. King Gwyn have managed to breach onto the site, but there's still two players in ruins. And then here's the Terminator once more with the FAMAS. Bomb has been planted, so I guess job done to an extent for King Gwyn. But Melty should be able to retake this site with ease. Yeah. Coming up to uh, two by two, construction and through CT. So they are able to hold on. I got very concerned because they threw the Molotovs over, but the Molotov that was supposed to go first oranges did not land, and there was a player there. And that player was able to peek out. He got headshot instantly, but he was still there. He took some attention. Players from CT were maybe more effective as a result. So the set strat didn't quite work out. But even still, they were able to get in there, get the bomb down. But really, nah, not too much of a hope of holding on 2v4. Well, it was, I guess, 3 on 4. Leggy had pushed the CT smoke to go up to the tree. Uh, but he got caught almost immediately upon getting to that position. So Team King went on the full eco. Uh, we'll see Kevlar on two players. So that's it. Melty looking to win all three here. And so far, not a single terrorist round in this match. Mm, it will do only require about... one. Yeah, I didn't even think of that. It's very true. It has been very CT sided so far this map, but I'm not expecting to, to, you know, repeat that statistic too much. In actual fact, take us to overtime. They would have to be in 30 rounds, not a single T side. That would be insane. I, I've seen very close to that. I don't think I've ever seen a full 30 of CT. Uh, Miz 2, think of that first shot with the FAMAS. That actually might have been the second. The Terminator has fallen. It's only Dennis and Rain right now, still alive. Players are, oh, there they are, smoking off the base of Banana. Oh, Mistu gets the information, but will be shot. Or, sorry, Rain gets the information. I'm just so used to it. Oh, I thought it was the other way around. And Lampert to spray and bring down Dennis. So, Kingdom, what you got for us? Now that you can buy some AKs and an AWP Makalele as well. I'm expecting to see uh, probably like kind of a a pick come out from Akalele. We saw how aggressive he was on the T side of Cash, so it wouldn't surprise me if we see him taking point even. Doesn't have a fantastic spawn to do so, but 
He could be the difference maker here. Melty just trying to hold on for dear life. They've got a great buy up. But there is the pick as well. Just as I mentioned, Lambert gets picked off. That's huge. He's on 5 for 17, Lambert. Not having the greatest game of his life. And that puts Melty in such a bad position now trying to hold on. Yeah, so Makalele, even with, like like you said, not the best spawn, was able to get to middle and bring down Lampert. He must have also had a spawn that wasn't super great or just kind of delayed the peak. Either way, man advantage now to Kingwin. Like we said earlier, they only need one more round. Four on four, though, Maiden will even it up from the Arch side as he wraps now back into A. So Arch is a bit vulnerable. Terminator is the player that's going to be floating at CT spawn. And once more, Makalele finds a kill onto X-Taz, opening things up. Maiden here in the site, trying to defend. He will get one. He drops the bomb, but then immediately trading him out. Looks like Makalele, I don't think he saw him, just taking a shot towards Library. And now as Terminator comes through, Fox will bring him down. And it's a miss two in a 1v3. Terminator already pushing out the GGs, the well played. Such faith they have in this two. Coming in Never on the 1v3. We saw that land actually now be uh, pushed GGs into the chat in a situation like this. And they actually won it and took it to OT. It was pretty funny. Uh, but here we are 16 3, dominant from Kingwin. Who knows if the 16 0 would have been there if Scream stayed in or not. Thing is, because I'm not talking about the GG aspect. GG is great, it's sportsmanship, all that good stuff. But when someone's alive on your team, it's just I don't know. It comes across like a a pretty harsh thing to do. It's like I've got no confidence <laughs> in, in our own player to clutch this scenario. We're done. See you later. Nah, it's, know, it's like arguing with a child. It's reverse psychology. You're typing GG. Maybe. Like I don't believe you can do this to inspire your teammates to prove <laughs> you wrong. I don't think that's a healthy team dynamic, but it might work in a, a couple situations. Well, it didn't in this case. It didn't. Uh, Melty, that's that's when you look at the two statistics from like overall score lines from those two maps, that was more one sided than I would have ever anticipated. So it's 16 6 and 16 3. Yeah. Uh, 16, 16 8. 8, sorry. Yeah, yeah. that's right. 16, I mean, cash 8, 16, with the way I expected it. I didn't expect this to be uh, as dominant. Melty, it, it could have been very different, right? It could have been 16 8 easily if they, were, if they got the pistols on the T side. But they did not, so they didn't have much to work with when they flipped it around to the other half. Not even one mistake. So Kingwin take it 2-0. Up next, we've got Property versus Rawcat. Uh, Property was former elite, and prior to that, they were Property again. So they're back. That's nice to see. And Rawcat was former Encore, the Finn stack. They are a quality team. Team Property versus Rawcat should be solid, and that's coming up soon. So I hope you'll stay with us here. MLG.tv slash PlaySevo. And if you want to support your casters, you can do so up top. I'm Helium. Follow me on Twitter at Umbrella. Meta's there at Meta's TV. Let us know what you think of the casting. And stay tuned for the next series. It's coming up soon.